I'm Bill Hoger with Rural Community Assistance Partnership, and we're at the secondary treatment process in the wastewater treatment plant. In the primary treatment process, we removed material by physical means. In the secondary treatment process, we utilize microorganisms to take the contaminants out of the wastewater. Now, these microorganisms are made up of bacteria and amoebas and protozoan, and they eat the contaminants. So what we do is we give them an environment where they like to grow. We give them a home where they want to live. So the ones that use oxygen, we give them air. And the ones that don't use oxygen, we give them a place where there isn't any air. We circulate them around, keep them in solution, feed them the contaminants in the wastewater, and then we settle them out, bring them back to the front end of the plant and have them do it again. There are safety concerns with the secondary part of the treatment plant. One of them is that in an aeration basin, the water is full of tiny bubbles of air, which makes it a lot less dense. So if somebody fell in, they would not be able to swim because they wouldn't float. So safety concerns are very important with wastewater treatment. So you need to have life jackets and railings and make sure that nobody falls in the aeration basins. It takes about five hours from the front end of this plant all the way through the aeration to the other end before the water goes to the secondary clarifiers. On the other hand, the microorganisms are recycled and it takes about nine days this time of year for the microorganisms before they're wasted from the plant. So in reality, this is a bug farm because you need to know what kind of organisms you've got in your mix so you know whether they're going to perform the job that you want them to do. You give them the right conditions, you give them the right food, the right amount of time, and the right amount of oxygen, and they're gonna do the work for you. And they're gonna do it cheaper than if you had to use chemicals to treat your wastewater. The secondary treatment process is one of the most complex in the treatment plant. And therefore, it's also one of the most expensive. Because the equipment's expensive to buy, it's expensive to keep maintained, and also you have to have blowers for aeration, and those blowers use electricity. And we all know how expensive electricity is. The secondary clarifier is the last step in the secondary treatment process. In the secondary clarifier, our mixture of microorganisms and water comes into the center, and as you can see, we're forming nice flock particles that are starting to settle out. They flow down outside this ring and into the main part of the clarifier where the splock settles to the bottom and the clean water comes to the top and flows over the weirs on its way through our process. At this point, the water is almost ready to discharge to the stream, but we still have to disinfect so it's not quite ready to discharge. But at this point, you can see the water is quite clear and we've removed most of the contaminants from the wastewater. Now we're down below ground at the base of the secondary clarifiers in the sludge pump galleries. The sludge settles to the bottom of the clarifiers, it's collected in the middle, and then is pumped out by these return activated sludge pumps. It goes back to the front end of the aeration basins where it's ready to make another trip through the secondary treatment process. This concludes the secondary treatment process. From here, the treated water goes to disinfection before it's sent out into the creek.